The images from a shelled maternity hospital in Ukraine are hard to fathom. A pregnant mother on a stretcher didn't survive. And now life-saving medical supplies are running dangerously low in the country. We are currently working with them to provide humanitarian relief to the Ukraine. Governor Bill Lee and local leaders put out a message to local hospitals and medical supply companies for help. There are a number of organizations and agencies that are trying to put together humanitarian relief. It's almost unbearable to to, to witness, so I could I could not imagine being there experiencing what those people are going through. Cookville Regional Medical Center responded to the call for action. For me, that's my life. I mean, that's why I feel like I'm here on this earth is to be a servant. I feel like I have a servant's heart. Melinda helped pack boxes with things like baby formula and wound dressing supplies. Afghans and blankets, baby formula. We sent over a lot of pediatric catheters. Once the C-130 from Poland lands, guardsmen will load it up and send it right back to where they're helping people. Melinda says following the 2020 tornado, Cookville received an influx of aid, so they wanted to pay it forward. We have all pretty exhausted and feel a little bit beat up emotionally, and so I think our empathy level is at all time high and just seeing what's been happening on the news over there, um, knowing what we got from the community when we were in turmoil and going through strife ourselves. Hopefully these supplies will help save lives. We're all in it together. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5.